Okay, hi guys, how's it going? So, wanted to do a nice review on Alexa. So, I got myself a Echo Dot um, in the Black Friday deals, and it was about £20. So, that was pretty good, it's quite a good price. So, the setup was fairly easy, uh, relatively speaking. Um, you need a smartphone, or at least I needed a smartphone. So, I downloaded the Alexa app, and... It's going to keep listening to me every time I say its name. But yeah, I downloaded the app. Um, I connected um, my, well, Alexa to the Wi-Fi. Uh, there weren't, wasn't very good instructions about how to set it up. I mean, it was reasonable. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not too bad to set up. On the positive side, um, I'm really enjoying using it. So um, it's got lots of different skills and abilities. Um, I'll give you an example. Alexa, meow, meow. <coughs> meow. Alexa stop so yeah you can basically download different skills and abilities so I've heard don't take it necessarily on my authority but the Google voice AI is a bit more advanced and in my experience this is kind of true but one of the good things about Alexa is it's integrated with Amazon so basically you've got all of your um or a lot of your Amazon services. So, for example, because I've got Amazon Prime, um, it's got access to 2 million songs. Now, you can actually upgrade this to um, have a lot more songs um, with Kindle Unlimited. Alexa, tell me about Music Unlimited. Amazon Music Unlimited lets you play over 50 million songs. Uh -huh. Listen to any Alexa, song, shut up. album or artist. Find music Alexa, by year or day. shut up. <laughs> Again, kind of Alexa, kind of, well, makes you um, be a bit rude to it sometimes because it kind of likes to blather on. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Data from Star Trek, actually. Like, uh, people are always telling him to shut up when he starts talking about the decimal points about how long it's going to take to get somewhere. So um, that's kind of a bit fun in a way. You can um, ask it to play you jokes. Um, Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the father Buffalo say to his son when he left for school? My son. Goodness sake. So yeah, the jokes are cringeworthy, but they're kind of fun. And you know, there's a whole science to cringeworthy jokes as far as I can tell, um, because everyone can kind of agree how terrible they are. I like the fact you can give it custom commands. So this is probably gonna get me copyright infringement, but I'm gonna stop it as quickly as possible. But I'll give it a go. Um, now this is an old movie that you may or may not have seen, but it, when a person wakes up every day, there's the song playing, okay, and it's always the same song, so I program this. Alexa, Groundhog Day. Alexa, shut up. Alexa, shut up. Well, it plays the song. <laughs> I managed to make it um, shut up quickly, so hopefully that won't um, cause uh, copyright infringement. <laughs> But no, honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying watching it. Um, it's, like I say, it's got all my Kindle content and audio ball content. So um, I was just, well, reading, well, listening to this really. So uh, um, Alexa, play the Gulag Archipelago. Getting your book from Audible. Resuming the Gulag Archipelago. There's 38 minutes left in the chapter and 21 hours. 11 minutes left in the book. Idolization of Stalin, boundless and unquestioning faith, were not characteristic of the whole people, but only of the party and the commissar. Alexa, shut up. Now, I'm a bit disappointed about the Kindle books, to be honest, because I've got a lot of Kindle books. I used to do a heck of a lot of reading, and I still do. But the problem is, only a handful of the Kindle books are... you. Well, there's, there's not very many. Probably only about 5% of the Kindle books have um text to speech enabled and i think the author or whoever's putting it up needs to manually enable that so that's a real disappointment because um well you know to be honest i think if they did it so that um audible will kind of take off because to be honest most of the time i'm just happy listening to um a, a sort of a computer voice reading something to me you know um i'm not particularly fussy so um that's a bit of a disappointment i think out of about um I think I've got about 2,000 books on Kindle, and about 10 of them I can actually um, listen to. So, yeah, make sure if you want to do that, get text-to-speech enabled, basically, um, for those books. So, I'm going to move on to the negative criticisms. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was for positives. Um, 
like I say, it was only £20. So, um, one of the things that's really annoying is, okay, so you've got 2 million songs that you can listen to, um, which is great, but there's no automatic audio, audio adjustment. So, for example, if I listen to a piece of classical music, then, um, then that's going to be a lot quieter. Um, Alexa, Moonlight Sonata. Play the song Moonlight Sonata. Yes. Piano Sonata number 14, <gasps> right? Yes. This is um, at Moonlight copyright, Sonata. So it Piano be fine. Sonata number 14 by Ludwig van Beethoven, <sighs> starting now on Amazon Music. Alexa, shut up. Okay, I don't know what the point of that was, but anyway, um, the quieter songs are really quiet and the louder songs are really loud. So one of the things I like doing personally is when I um, sometimes go to sleep or if I'm having a nap or something, I like to actually listen to music, um, specifically sort of meditation style music or maybe uh, like for the sound of rain or something like that. And obviously um, a lot of that's quiet and um you know if you play a louder song afterwards it's going to be like too loud so anyway um automatic audio adjustment would be amazing if you could just add that that would be great i could actually add it myself if i was uh <laughs> programming at um amazon but uh yeah so when a music track finishes even um a quiet music track there's sort of a um annoying voice that kind of comes on and goes you've been listening to music or something and again that was really loud so i was actually kind of sleeping listening to this amazing uh music track and then this voice comes on and starts going blah 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 and I'm like, oh god that's really annoying um so there's um Continuous play is not on by default. So if I start listening to meditation music, for example, um, I think there are radio channels which all play continuously. But then there are pay playlists, and the playlists are finite. So they'll play and then they'll stop, um, which is kind of a bit disappointing because I kind of would want them to be continuous until I tell it to stop. Um, so that's like like for example, YouTube does that as standard. Um, so. Um, I've already said at the beginning here that the actual AI is a bit less advanced than Google. Um, also, there are um, a few companies that are sort of linked into this. So, for example, there's um, Amazon Music and there's also Amazon Music Unlimited. And then there's Spotify and I believe that's the only um, companies that they have providing their music service. Um, I actually had a problem yesterday and I had to look up what the solution was. So the um, Alexa was flashing yellow and I told it to stop flashing yellow and and all of this and it didn't really understand and it thought I was talking about, you know, the custom light bulbs that you can turn up and down. The yellow light means you have a new message or <sighs> notification. To check, you can Alexa, say... Alexa, shut up. Um, <laughs> it could have told me that yesterday. Oh, God. Um... So anyway, I guess it just told me what I was going to tell you guys. If it's flashing yellow, that means it's got a notification. So all you do, you say, Alexa, notification. No new notifications. Okay. Um, so yeah, if it starts flashing yellow, that means there's a notification, such as you bought something on Amazon and it's got to tell you about it. Um, but yeah, nowhere in the instructions does it really say... Um, if it's flashing yellow, you need, need to ask it about notifications. You also can't turn it off unless you check your notifications. So that's um, really annoying, especially at night. Um, uh, so another problem that I've already covered is it talks too much. Um, there's no custom voices as far as I can tell. I think I've got a choice of um, a few different Alexas. So, for example, I could probably switch between English and American. But if I try to go for another country, such as Canadian or um, whatever, it kind of comes up with a notice sort of saying that certain things may not work properly. So, there may be a way of getting more custom voices. Personally, I want a voice a bit like Patrick Stewart, you know. I think he would have an amazing voice to talk to for Alexa, but um, yeah, as far as I can tell, there are no custom voices. Um, and there's a few names that you can kind of give it, so you can call it Amazon or Alexa. Um, there's about four or five, but again, it would be kind of nice if you could give it a custom name. Um, but at the moment, I don't think you can. Alexa, can you change your voice? 
I'm afraid I can't change my voice. Ooh. That's disappointing. Alexa, you disappoint me. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> you can always share your feedback through the help and feedback section of the app. Yeah, I'm sure I can. Um, so, yeah, it's fun to play with. And there's um, a lot of games, like I said. And um, for 20 quid, it's not bad. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but obviously there are a few privacy concerns that people have sort of had um, with this technology. So it's not specific to this device. But, you know, there's sort of reports of it sending information to the CIA, which I'm sure it does because, you know, most things go through, um, you know, the sort of CIA and whatnot. Um, obviously, it might be logging onto an American network and any traffic that passes through America um, will sort of be, um, you know, looked at by um, CIA or whatever. So um, I'm not particularly worried about that because that's pretty standard um, for this kind of a thing. And anyway, you've got nothing to hide. So please, I'm Sam Innocent. Ah! Anyway, um, that's pretty much my review of the um, Alexa thingy Bob. So, thank you very much for listening. Sorry, I don't know that one. No, you don't, do you? Alexa, you don't know very much of anything, do you? Sorry, I'm not sure. No, no, he's never sure, is it? But, yeah. Um, oh, one other thing. The um, microphone on the Alexa is really good. So um, there's four little microphones at the top here and they seem to be um, sort of really clever. Um, another nice feature that you guys can see is <clears throat> if I talk to Alexa, then you'll see there's a little light pointing towards me um, most of the time, except it's mm -hmm. kind of going crazy now. But it kind of looks like it's listening to you. So um, that's kind of a nice little design feature. Kind of reminds me of... Um, that movie with um, Wally, that's for the movie, so kind of reminds me a bit like that, um, a bit futuristic. 